Hello, uh, Jim Howard here in Fort Worth, Texas. Today's date, it is September 21st of 2017. Been a lot of, I'm in Texas, by the way, but I'm not down in the Houston area. I'm up in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, I used to be, well, I used to work, I worked in security and law enforcement. Uh, I was an EMT. Uh, always been wanting to be self-sufficient, uh, you know, so I'm interested in solar power and all these type of things. With all the disasters and the things going on in the world, anyway, I sort of got it. My family kind of gave me a hard time. I used to fill empty two-liter bottles of Coke, you know, when they were empty with water and have those around. My family just kind of gave me problems about it, but now with everything going on, I want to get back into, I was in the past also, I, in the Ground Observer Corps, Civil Defense, uh, I was uh, certified as a radiological monitor for the state of Missouri, so I really have always been interested in being prepared. I should have been a Mormon. Uh, that's part of their religion, being prepared, I believe. Maybe some other religions also. Uh, so I, I moved around a lot, so I couldn't, you know, I seemed like I had to start over. I couldn't move everything with me that I would have liked to. And uh, so I want to start over and try to, even though I'm up there uh, uh, a little bit in age, I still want to be prepared. Uh, I've lived in Tornado Alley. I was down in Miami for five years for uh, some of their hurricanes. I think the biggest was a three, though, which is not to be laughed at. So I want to try to get set back up. I don't have a lot of spare money, but I still want to a little bit get prepared as much as I as I can. <clears throat> so I've purchased this two LED lanterns at a very reasonable price. If this was a price for one, eh, but for two, that's a it's a bargain I think. Uh, <clears throat> come in this box come with this instruction well not much it's one page but you don't you know you don't need don't need more than that we're not talking about rocket science here this is it now it feels uh, I want to say tinny I actually don't think this is tin I think it's plastic but it feels it doesn't feel, but then again, for the price. And I would love to have something stainless steel, you know, and whatever. But there again, price, you have to. And Anyway, this is it. It has magnets on the base, by the way. I don't have any metal around here. I'm not going to stick it on my computer. But uh, I like that it has magnets on the bottom. Uh, it takes three double-A batteries. And I have them in here. This thing is really bright. I, <laughs> It's bright. That's, now that is amazing that it's so bright. Uh, I received this box earlier today and it was daylight and I put the three batteries in this one and it was daylight in my room and it hurt my eyes so that's it now this one I haven't put the batteries in yet so you unscrew the bottom and you put in the double A batteries
be embarrassing if this didn't work, right? Okay. Gotta look away, I think. There we go. Oh, man, it hurts to look at it. So that is it. Um, let's take a look a little bit here. There's no on and off switch, of course. You just pull it up. Pull up with the rings. Gives you the dimensions here. I'm not sure what a Cobb LED technology is, but it says smaller, brighter, more efficient than regular LEDs. Twice as bright as an ordinary lantern. I've never been much into, I haven't been into camping at all, uh, so I don't know, except I would not want to have a lamp that I had to fill with whatever they fill them with. I want to say propane, propane, but that's, I'm not sure that what type of, I prefer. The only thing, of course, then it would be more money, it would be bulkier and everything. The only thing I would prefer, you know, I prefer batteries, or I would prefer, you know, uh, solar cells to charge it up. But the only problem is, solar cells are not really efficient in small, you know, small sizes. I've got several uh, devices around here that are uh, solar cells devices, and I'm enamored by the technology, but. Yeah, like I've been, I was interested in solar cells when I was, when they came, well, when they came out, or when I was a kid in, in high school. So, uh, let's take a look here. I think that's it. Let's go over here and see. Compact and portable. Says it's designed to withstand shock. It's waterproof, heat resistant, to allow for university use, universal use, home or outdoor activities. Adjustable. To adjust the brightness, just extend or retract. Oh, I did not know that. So it's not an on and off. Well, it makes sense because yeah, you know, if you. Uh, yeah, it makes sense. I'm kind of stupid, aren't I? It makes sense that that would give you less light. More light. I do not look good in bright light. Director, pull the camera back. <laughs> okay, I didn't pay any attention. I, you know. Let you suspend or carry the lantern. So there you have it. I do recommend it, and I'm I am going to try and be uh, a little more self-sufficient in case we have. And it's not a matter of it's a matter of, of course, how long I'm going to be around. But uh, I lived in Kansas City, Missouri, for years during World War Two. I was a a baby or an infant or whatever and I can actually remember uh, some minor earthquakes that's one of my few memories and uh, so I've seen earthquakes I've seen uh, flooding uh, tornadoes actually I've never seen a tornado and I one of my jobs is, you know, to watch out for severe storms. I've seen uh, seen a microburst. I was in a microburst. I never. I had some training in uh, observing for when I was in the Ground Observer Corps, and the Air Force did away with the Ground Observer Corps. Uh, Civil Defense trained us as uh, 
weather observers. Of course, I'm also an amateur radio operator, so that's something that hams do. But I was actually in a microburst, and I had never heard of, uh, never had heard of a microburst that I remember. I had to look it up on Wikipedia, I think. Uh, and then I was in some hurricanes. What's left? I think the only thing now is going to would be volcanoes and uh, meteor showers or something. You know, meteor showers like Armageddon or uh, whatever. So, yeah, I think people, you sh- everybody should be prepared. That's one thing. When I was in Florida, well, they're suggesting that everywhere, but you know, Florida was big on, you know have what you need to make it three days on your own until they can get, you know, rescuers to you. Anyway, I do recommend this, and I've, I've got one bag made up of stuff, but I think I'm just going to say, I want, wanted all that stuff together because we've lost power here before for a short period of time, and I've had enough fly, you know, uh, fly, uh, flashlights and stuff. But then after the thing was all over, then I realized, wait a minute, I've got this and this and this, and I am, I, you know. So I'm putting them in one bag. Now let's hope I don't lose the bag. But uh, I think I'm just going to set these. Well, we have some other lights too that uh, come on automatically. And I did have a really nice. Uh, solar panel that went in the window and kept some things charged up and it had some strings of lights that came LED lights that came off had a switch but I gave that to a relative uh, so anyway be prepared and thank you very much for watching this review